What's going on guys, Aldrin Nastasio here with flypath.com and in this video I have the new Tello drone by Rise Robotics. Now if you guys remember back in January at CES, Rise came out and announced the Tello drone. Now what it is, it has the Intel uh, processor but it also has DJI flight technology within it. So that's what made a lot of buzz around the drone industry. Uh, everyone thought it was the new DJI Tello or DJI toy drone, but it's actually a Rise Robotics drone with partnership with DJI and Intel. So in this first video, I'm gonna make a couple of them. This one's really just a quick unboxing and setup video. I wanna make sure I get it out into the field and do some tests with it first, and then I'll do a part two, maybe three, or whatever it is. Uh, but for this first video, just to do a quick unboxing and setup. So stay tuned, and you'll see the new Tello drone. Here it is. Let's open this up. Here is the, not the Mavic 2, but it is the, the Tello Drone. It says Tello Drone, feel the fun. On the bottom here, it says powered by DJI Intel inside. Of course, that's the reason why this thing is really talked about is because everyone thought it was a new DJI drone, but, it is not, it is just in partnership with DJI. This is done by Rise Robotics. The back, it just has a nice photo of it. it tells you a little bit about what uh, the drone is capable of doing. 13 minute flight time, precise hovering, 720 HD transmission, multiple flight modes, five megapixel little camera, easy operations, electronic image stabilization, and programmable with the Tello SDK. Also sold separately, if you wanted to, you can get a remote control, a battery hub, you can get some different colors that snap on, and then you can also scan to see more. So this is supposed to be released in the United States towards the end of March, but here it is, the new Tello drone by Rise Robotics. Let's go ahead and open this up, see exactly what it comes with. There you go. So there is a battery at the very bottom. Quick start guide. We have the Tello drone itself. One battery, one, two, three, four extra propellers and a propeller tool. Here it is guys. I'm gonna just show you some more close up shots of the Tello drone. Uh, the front right here is the camera. Now this is only electronic image stabilization. There is no gimbal. There's no multiple access gimbal on this. So it is all an electronic stabilization. Unfortunately, it doesn't have 1080. It only shoots up to 720 at 30 frames a second. And the camera is a five megapixel photo camera. The field of view on this camera is 82.6 degrees. Now the propeller guards already come on there. As you can see here on the side, there is a USB plug, micro USB. This is of course to charge the battery. It does not come with a micro USB cord, so you will need to provide your own in order for you to charge your battery. Now with all the other toy drones out there on the market, the one thing that does separate the Tello is the fact that they're using Intel processing as well as the, the flight controller from DJI. Now DJI is of course one of the most or the most well-trusted brands out there as far as drones go. So knowing that they have their technology within something that's this small, uh, and the downward positioning system to allow you to have precise hovering is very important. Now, the price point of this, 99 bucks. Now, and I have had a lot of other toy drones in the past, but the funny thing is that when you buy a toy drone, especially when you buy something that's off the shelf at your local store, you actually will think that it's easy to fly when technically it's even harder to fly because they don't have things like this, which is the vision and positioning system, which allows it to actually hover precisely by sensing the ground below. Now, a lot of other toy drones don't have that, so the fact that they're using the DJI technology on something this small is really what makes the Tello stand out. Now, the one thing I did learn when I was trying to take off these prop guards is that they are on there really snug, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you're supporting the arms right there. These are actually on there pretty snug, so when you do pull these off, try to support the arms as much as you can because these things will pretty much just flick right off. And in order for you to put them back on, pretty simple, just place them right above these little notches right here. There you go. They click in just like that. You wanna make sure you're putting the right propeller onto the right motor. 
Now, if you can see, there's actually markings right here on the props themselves. You can see this little small little line. This one does not have that line. And what you wanna do is match them up. So there's little lines right here on the bottom of the landing pad. Those lines match up with the same propellers. Now, I would have probably have just painted these white made these white very similar to how DJI normally does all their other propellers. Uh, so I would recommend you just getting a white marker, paint this leg right here white, as well as paint the props white. You're more than likely gonna be breaking some props, so you wanna make sure that you're putting them on the correct way. Don't wanna mix those up, because if you do, your drone will either not fly or it'll probably flip over when you try taking it off if they're on the wrong motor. If for some odd reason you're flying and your propeller does break, they give you a tool for you to use all you have to do is place this little piece right here underneath the prop itself, and you're able to lift up the prop. What you wanna do is also support it from the arm. Lift this up and you can take off the propeller and replace it with a new one. These are not screw-on propellers like some of the ones you would see on the older Phantom lineups. These are just press-on, so you need to be careful when putting these on. Make sure that they are pressed down all the way onto the motor. These do not spin on or clip in or any way like that, like some of the other ones you might use on the Spark or the Mavic or the Phantom lineup. These are just small press down types of props. As you can see with the prop guards on it, if I place it right above, even with the prop guards, it is a little bit smaller than the DJI Spark. So as far as footprint goes, it gives you a little bit smaller of a footprint. Plus you have the prop guards on it for safe flying, indoors or out. Biggest difference of course with the Spark, this is 300 grams. The Tello is actually only 80 grams. So a lot lighter and you can see here side by side, it is a lot smaller than the DJI Spark. To install and charge your battery, all you have to do is make sure that these are facing down. Place this into the back of the drone, push it all the way until it clicks. To charge the battery, all you have to do is plug in a power source to this micro USB on the side of the drone. Plug this in here. Now what was nice to see that the Spark also did was you're able to power this off a power bank. Now the Mavic Air for some odd reason is not able to do that. I even use larger power banks and larger external battery packs for the Mavic Air, it still would not let you charge it off of it externally. You would have to plug it in or use some other power source. You cannot run it off of banks. So nice to see that you can charge up the battery here with something like this. This is the Anchor power bank that I've been using for a while now. And as you can tell here by the light on the front, the blinking blue means it's charging. It'll turn solid blue once it's fully charged. While this is charging up, let's go into the App Store, download the latest Tello app. That way we can begin the setup process and see how we're able to control the Tello with the mobile app. Now in order for you to connect your device to your Tello itself, what you have to do is go into your Wi-Fi settings. After you power on the Tello, you should be able to see a Wi-Fi available here. And I do see it on my screen, it says Tello right there. So click on that, go back to the app, open up the app. And there you go. It is connected, the Wi-Fi connected from the phone directly to the Tello. As you can see here, I am fully connected. Wi-Fi signal is strong. I do not have my Bluetooth on, but I can turn that on as well. But as you can see, I have full connection and I can see exactly what the camera sees. Now there is no password you need in order for you to connect the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi just auto connected. Unlike some of the Spark or the other ones, you have to enter a password. This one just did not need it at all. So I was able to connect directly to the Tello from my mobile device. So when you first connect via Wi-Fi, you actually don't even have to enter a password. And I wasn't exactly sure why, because I was so used to entering one with the Spark as well as the other drones. But when you click on settings right here and click on Wi-Fi, as you can see here, the Wi-Fi name is Tello, but the password is blank. So that's the reason why you don't have to use a password. But if you create a password here, then in the future when you connect to it, you'll just have to enter in that password. Let's go through the app itself. As you can see on the top left, we have the auto launch or auto takeoff. The second icon here is the drone icon, which now gives you the flight modes. So you can see that there's a flight mode called throw and go, flips, up and out, 360, circle, 
and bounce mode. So these are all the modes that are in the app itself. And these are what you might call some of their smart features or smart modes, very similar to what we had on the Spark and all the Mavic series. Go back out, we have settings icon right here. Settings options gives you to have a flight speed of slow or fast. Clicking VR gives you the option to hook this up to your VR glasses or goggles if you had those. And as you can see, we have a split screen here. Now, if you don't wanna use your mobile phone as your remote, you can actually hook it up to a Bluetooth remote, like a gaming remote control. So I'll make sure I put some of the links in there down below that show you which types of remotes are capable of uh, controlling the Tello, but you can actually use a gaming remote to, to control your Tello, which actually will be a lot better, have a lot more tactile feel, very similar to like if you're using your remote for your Spark or your Mavic. Also within the menu system here, there is a link for more. I'll go into a little bit more detail about this section because there's a bunch of things in here. Uh, things like the beginner guide that just kind of walks you through uh, what all the controls or all the symbols and icons mean. There's things like measurement system, if you want to be metric, photo quality, normal high, low battery warning, setting up your joysticks, uh, exposure compensation, and also the bit rate for the video. So, I'll go into that a little bit more detail, walk you through each one of those. But I just wanna make sure that we have enough info here for us to actually get a flight up. So let's get out of here. On the right hand side, we have the play button. So if we've taken any photos or video, you hit play and it'll show you back what you've taken, whether it's a photo or a video. And the second icon on the right hand side is your camera or video settings. So right now it's in video mode. If I wanna switch it to a photo or camera mode, you press that button right there. And this is of course the shutter or to take a photo. So as you can see, we'll take our first photo right there. And now that we've taken a photo, we hit the play button and now it should show us the last photo that we took, which is right there. So on the top right, you have a few options here. You can click this and you can see what it looks like if you're looking at it through a VR or goggles. The second one is if you want to save this to your camera roll. So right now it says photo successfully exported. And then of course we have the trash can if you want to delete that photo. So let's just see if we can do our very first takeoff. We are all connected. Slide to takeoff, as you can see right there. Let's slide to takeoff and see what happens. There you go. Here's our first flight with the Tello. Now what I'll do is turn it left, turn it right, right, turn it straight. Let's go up a little bit and let's go back down. Now, this is really cool because like I said, some of the other toy drones that you have on the market are really manual. There's no, there is no vision positioning like the Tello has right here, which is actually sensing the table. So if you were to fly any other toy drone, you would have to actually manually control it to make this hover. The great thing about this Tello one is that with those vision positioning, with the DJI, flight controller with the Intel processing, all that technology is within something this small and it makes it actually an easy flight for you if you're just looking for a toy drone to have. Okay, now that we're here, I'm gonna hit tap to land. There you go, and now it's landing. And it's off. Very first flight, as you can see, it is super stable. And I didn't have to really much do anything except for control it just a little bit. But, you know, like I mentioned before, it was one of those things that if you bought a toy drone, a lot of people will really think it's easy to fly out of the box when it really wasn't. You know, some of these toy drones don't have vision positioning. But because of this thing has vision positioning, it's able to sense a location and sense the floor or the ground and maintain its precise hovering very much like how it is with the Spark or all the other DJI lineups. You're getting that DJI technology within something 
that is this, this small and a fantastic starter drone if you just kind of wanted this to experiment a little bit more, especially flying indoors and just having fun with it, I think is uh, really where this thing would, would shine. I haven't, I'm not gonna take it outside just yet. I wanna do a couple more tests inside and then we'll see how it works outside. There it is guys, just a very quick video of the Tello drone by Rise Robotics part one, which is really just an unboxing and initial setup. I'll make sure I go through all of the menu system, flight modes, and a lot more detail in part two or part three of the next videos. Uh, so if you guys got some value from my video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos, especially dealing with the Tello. This is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.